what's going on everybody so today I'm heading out I'm just kind of cruising around seeing what I can find it's been really rainy for the last four or five days we've had a lot of flooding we just got some snow last night on top of that so I'm gonna ride around see what I can find that I really like no real plan um, last weekend I went to Brakes Interstate Park but I didn't get anything. I got one photograph from the Blue Hour, and that was about it. I mean, just wasn't happening and wasn't, wasn't feeling it. We had fun, though, you know. Walked around and saw a bunch of stuff. Just really couldn't get into it. Didn't see anything I really liked. I'm hoping today to end up at the Iron Furnace at the Cumberland Gap. I've seen some video of the water rushing around there. I think that's where I'm going to head. So, we'll head out to the Cumberland Gap, and I may hit up a couple other places on the way back. A historic dam, if it's open. I know the road was pretty covered up and pretty swallowed with water. So, we'll see what I can find. It's just, we're going on a road adventure. I don't know where we're going, but we're going to have a good time. And hopefully we come away with a few good photographs. So, let's get at it. guys check out this behind me all this rushing water it's amazing I got here right at a good time all the heavy rains the snow it's snowing now actually and I've got a nice composition lined up here I'm gonna include a little bit of this tree and do a vertical shot all the way up to those, uh, that tree with some leaves on it get some nice contrast but this is awesome this is looking really really good and I am pumped. I have just got here at the best time possible. I'm so glad I decided to come out here this morning. And I have not I've never seen it with this much water coming down. So this is this is pretty awesome to experience. I wanted to get over there but there's real no good way of uh, there's not a real good way of getting over there, but I might wander up here a little bit, I don't know, but Right now, I'm gonna shoot this right here. So, let's get at it. So behind me here is the Iron Furnace. It was a iron smithing place from uh, 1820s to the 1880s here in the Cumberland Gap. And just, can you imagine making that in the 1820s by hand? That is crazy, it's mind boggling. But they used to do all the iron working here along Gap Creek and it's just amazing that that's what they had to build to do that. <laughs> but I just got done finish, uh, I just finished uh, taking some pictures here. Uh, the light was really good, so I, had to, I did the pictures before I shot this, so. I've got a nice leading line in here, and I went up over here too and got a really good shot that I like. I shot a pano here, so I can get more of it in frame. But, absolutely stunning. I mean, look at that water rushing down the mountain there. So pretty. But yeah, this is good. And we're about to head up the mountain and see what the top of the falls look like. Right up in there. That's where I'm wanting to go. So we'll see what it's like up there. But yeah, it's just mind boggling that that was made by hand. I mean look at the size of some of those <laughs> some of those rocks. But absolutely pretty morning. Oh, by the way, I used a CPL filter here instead of an ND filter. I wanted to get rid of some of the glare. And since the water is rushing down so fast, you don't need to use an ND. You'll get a nice smooth image every time. So, just wanted to let you know what I did there. I'll shot it at F13 at three tenths of a second. 
So, real pretty. Can't wait to look at them. But let's head up the mountain and uh, see what we can find up there. So let's head on up. Well, I was gonna go to the top of the falls, but they've got it blocked off. Probably because the water's over the bridge, but if you're out in the national parks or anywhere, always respect the boundaries. I'm a photographer for the National Park Service, and I still won't go. You know, it's for your safety. So just don't do that. So I guarantee you the water's probably over the bridge coming out of Gap Cave, and that's why it's blocked off. So there's a lot of water pumping. The iron furnace was amazing, by the way. So I'm excited to go home and see what I got with that. But I think I'm gonna head on down the mountain, wandering around a little bit more. I don't know where I'm going next, maybe White Rocks. We'll see what's up at White Rocks. But right now, we'll head back down and see what's going on. We'll catch you in a minute. So it's the beginning of February and the Easter lilies are already blooming, coming out. So spring's almost here. So I was heading down the road toward White Rocks and came across this really nice hill with some trees on it. And I noticed this church up here on the hill. Yeah, right here. And I came over here to photograph it. Right over here, so I used the long lens back up in there to capture some pretty nice shots of uh, some trees on the hill with the snowy mountains. Nice drama in the clouds. It was really nice. Take a look at them. Well, I think I'm about done for the day. We've had a good time. Went out to right White Rocks, wasn't much there I liked. I found a nice little scene though with a barn on the side of the road and it had the White Rocks in the background there and then I found this old abandoned house that had this really nice little stream flowing down through it with some of the mountain range in the background. So, not what I was expecting when I went out there but I'll, uh, I'll plan a trip this summer to hike out to the sand cave and then go on up to the White Rocks so you can get a better look at all that. The sand cave is great and if you've never done that hike, it's a pretty rough hike. It's about four and a half miles up, four and a half miles back, straight up and it's it's great. It's a, it's a hard hike but it's worth every bit of it. Um, so I think that, that'll be a trip this coming year. Right now, I'm about to head to Haymakers and get some barbecue. Me and my wife love Haymakers here in uh, Middle... I'm in Middlesboro now. It's not Middlesboro, it's in Harrogate. <laughs> the two towns are like right next to each other. One in Kentucky, one in Tennessee. And uh, this one's on the Tennessee side by LMU, so Lincoln Memorial University, so. That barbecue place is phenomenal. And if you ever come out to the Cumberland Gap and you get hungry, I recommend Haymakers. So I'm going to go by Haymakers, uh, grab something for me and my wife, take it home. And I was going to go to that dam, but they've got it that road closed off, uh, so I ain't going to head out that way. But I've had a good time, had a good day, got some pictures. Um, yeah, pretty awesome. So... Take a look at what I've got here at the end and like, share, and subscribe. I've not been real good about posting videos, but I'm gonna get better at it this coming this coming month. We're gonna get out a whole lot more. Right now, I've just had so much stuff come up and last weekend was just a bust, so I didn't really feel like posting anything last weekend. So coming up next week, Lord willing, um, we are going to try, weather, weather permitting, we are going to try to go do the Moonbow at Cumberland Falls. So the Moonbow 
happens on a full moon um, light over the waterfalls create this nice little rainbow at night so we'll be there about midnight or so and we're gonna me and my buddy Terribio and my buddy Todd might come uh, we're gonna go out and shoot the moon bow <laughs> at Cumberland Falls State Park in Kentucky and then when we're done shooting the moon bow if we get it we are gonna head down to the Cumberland Gap and go to the Pinnacle if it's open to do a sunrise so it's going to be a pretty nice little adventure and some challenging situations and it'll be fun i like stuff like that so we'll see what we get then but until then like share subscribe and have a great week take some pics later